Yo, I just came across a really cool technique to use feedback loop, but with uh, ring modulation instead of actual feedback. So um, feedback loops are effectively just a signal you send into a chain, and then you take a point late in the chain and send it back into the chain, but earlier, so that it's effectively looping on itself. And here, that's what I'm doing, but with ring modulation instead. So basically, I'm just uh, using uh, a basic sine wave here, and I'm using kilohertz ring mode remote the sounds, but I'm using external input, so not, not just the default sine wave. And I'm using as the input the uh, feedback here, the, the effect track chain uh, with post FX so that I can put effects in the effect track. And so effectively, I'm remoting the sound by what is happening here. So it's remoting the sound and sending the signal back, remoting again and again, again, again. So it's, it's basically just a feedback. And I'm using a delay to control the rate of it. And it actually sounds kind of fun on its own, like that. But now I can introduce different effects. So for example, I don't know, shifter. Um, just pitch shifting the sound. Sounds nothing crazy right now, but if I introduce OTT to bring back all the top and harmonics. It's have to sound weird and cool. But maybe I can also use, I don't know, uh, frequency shifting. And change the rate of that. Get all sorts of weird echoes. You can put literally any effect you want into the chain. So maybe, I don't know, I'm free from phase with this kind of setup um, right here. And then, I don't know, changing the pitch of that. To get all sorts of weird psychedelic echoes. Um, I don't know, multi pass to get even more. Um, like face shifting stuff. You can put literally anything, and don't forget to put a limiter at the end of the chain to avoid blasting your ears.